Hi, welcome back to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a great pleasure to be back, amen, to bring forth another word, a word of salvation, a word of deliverance, amen. And I just pray that God will be your portion today, that you receive his promises, amen, that he has already prepared for you as we go into the word and just begin to confess his benefits, amen, begin to confess his promises that he has for us by believing, amen, because faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God, but faith begins with your confession, amen, and we just thank God for today, and I'm just going to bring forth a, a new teaching today, it's been a while since I've been on air doing some teaching, and so today, In the midst of my prayer, the spirit of the Lord began to speak to me about breaking the spirit of limitations. Amen. Because many of us should be moving forward, should be doing things already that God has spoken. Amen. Through the mouths of the prophets and they have not came to pass. And a lot of times it could be because there's some limitations in our lives and we need to acknowledge what those limitations are in order for God to begin to move in us, um, in us and for us and with us. Amen. (laughs) Praise God, especially us, you know, you and me, we need to move with God. When God speaks, we need to be obedient when God releases his word. Amen. And don't question him. Don't doubt him. Amen. Praise God. And so in the midst of my prayer, you know, I was just praying and just calling out on the name of the Lord. Amen. Just wanting to hear God on what's going on in my life, you know, and he spoke and he said, you know, break the spirit of limitations in your life. So I began to look around and search within myself. What have I done to allow these limits to come into my life? Because the enemy looks for legal access. You know, he can't just come in and squat. He's got to have a reason to get there. And so if there's anything going on in your life, amen, you got to search your heart before God. You got to cry out before God and begin to seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. His righteousness is so important. Amen. We have to be in right standing with God in order for God to hear us. Amen. And many of us may not be in right standing right now. So I pray that in that you will begin to search your heart as the Holy Spirit to reveal to you whatever the circumstances or the situation may be that is limiting you from moving forward. That's limiting you to become great, limiting you to have success. Amen. Whatever your situation is, um, you have to know what God is saying and especially for you and how he's going to use you in this situation or circumstance, whatever the situation may be. Amen. And, you know, while speaking, what comes to my mind is Esther. You know, Esther, as we already know, she was the niece of Mordecai. And Mordecai was being um, falsely accused. He was being lied on. You know, he was being challenged. He was being tormented by his adversaries, you know, his enemies, you know, Haman. And Haman didn't know he had a person already inside the palace, you know, and a lot of times we need to have people in places that we cannot get into ourselves to begin to intercede for us, you know, begin to do things for us that's impossible for us to do because we on the outside, amen, and we need certain individuals in our lives, amen, that God has already assigned to us that can begin to intercede for us. Amen. Begin to break off the spirit of limitations in our lives. Amen. Because Mordecai was limited. Amen. So he already had his niece Esther in the palace and he sent word to Esther and he told Esther, look, this is what's going on. You know, there's an enemy within the walls and this enemy wants to destroy the Jews. And Esther thinking she had nothing to do with it. But Mordecai reminded her, hey, don't forget who you are, because what's going to be done to us will be done to you. And as a result of that, Esther got together with her handmaidens. They went on a fast, as you already know the story, a three day fast. And they went into prayer and then she 
went in and began to seek the Lord. Amen. Began to find what she needed to find. Amen. You know, to help her, you know, find through asking, you know, she had to ask, uh, you know, the king, you know, for favor. Amen. So right now, let's just pray and ask God for favor for our lives. Let's just pray and trust and believe that God is going to give us uncommon favor, favor that we don't deserve, but he's going to give it to us. Anyhow, we're going to pray and we're going to believe in God that he will hear our prayer according to Psalms. According to the book of Psalms, amen, Psalms 141, amen. You know, we're going to pray and ask God to teach us how to conduct ourselves when we're in the middle of a trial, when when tribulation is knocking at our door. We're going to ask God to assign people to us to intercede for us, just like Mordecai had Esther. So we're going to ask God to assign someone. To help us to break off the limitations in our lives, amen. To break them, amen, so that we will begin to move forward and have great success. So, in the midst of that, um, I'm gonna do a little teaching and then we're gonna pray after the teaching and we're gonna trust God for His complete deliverance, amen, because that's what I'm doing right now. I had to say as a minister, a teacher, releasing prophetically whatever God has for me to release to his people, I have to remain strong and steadfast even when I feel weak and vulnerable. I have to keep reminding myself that I have to trust God. God, I'm going to trust you in this no matter what it looks like on the outside or whatever it feels internally I have to trust you in this amen and I hope people who are listening my brothers and my sisters or whomever you may be in the body of Christ I pray that you will trust God that is the beginning of all things in our relationship with God first with God because it's really hard to trust people if you don't have trust in God So if you're not trusting someone very close to you or someone that you think you should trust, but you're not trusting them, take it back to the Abba Father. Amen. Take it back to him. Ask Abba Father to teach you how to trust, to teach you how to seek his face. Amen. To seek his will in every area of your life. I just wanted to share that because it's been a while since I've been on my radio show, bringing forth, you know, the word. Amen. But I can only move when the Holy Spirit tells me to move. I can only speak when he say speak. Amen. I can't just randomly come on here and just keep delivering and delivering and taking on battles that's not meant for me to take. Amen. So we just thank God right now for his grace. We thank God for his love and his kindness and we thank God that he's going to hasten to us and he's going to give ear to our voice and he's going to hear us amen when we cry out to him amen we're going to set our prayers before God amen like burning incense amen that's going to be lifting up right now lifting up into his nostrils amen as we raise our hands up to him as we sacrifice our evening you know and sacrificing our evening you know putting away the cares of the world, just having time with God, fellowshipping with God, you know, praying, asking God to remove the limitations of our lives. Amen. Because many of us has permitted these limitations to come in and we need to repent. You need to repent. I need to repent and continue to repent. Amen. And ask God to forgive us for giving the enemy, the enemy, amen, legal territory, legal access to our lives because he don't deserve that. He don't deserve that. Amen. Let's let's not allow our hearts to be troubled, but let's just trust in God and lean not to our own understanding. Let's begin to take the scriptures, the word of God, and ask God to order our steps in his word and let not iniquity have dominion over us. Amen. Let's just begin to confess his word daily and let power. Amen. The power of his Holy Spirit, the presence of his Holy Spirit to come in and fellowship with us and dwell with us. Amen. 
Amen. As we extend ourselves, just like Esther did for three days and three nights, she gave herself to the Lord until she had boldness to go before the king and ask for favor. Amen. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to ask God for favor. So before I get into the prayer, let's just do the teaching real quick. And the teaching is about breaking the spirit of limitation, you know, breaking it and knowing how to release God's scriptures. So the scriptures, they all going to vary. Um, and one of the scriptures I want to talk about is, um, the book of Genesis, especially with Abraham and Sarah, you know, there was limitations that was set right there because Sarah could not wait on the promise. Amen. So she ended up having Abram, her husband, Abraham, to sleep with the, the servant, Hagar, and end up having Ishmael. And as a result of that, it set limitations, you know, it allowed limitations to manifest within the lives of many people, you know, um, especially Sarah, because now she was limited and she wasn't with child, you know, until years and years later, God spoke the promise that they will have a child. And in the midst of that, she began to laugh and God heard her. He heard her laughing and, you know, he told her, he said, what you laughing for? Is anything too hard for God? And that's the key thing. Is anything too hard for God? Because when we begin to understand what limits we have already placed in our lives, God is not limited by our limits. We are limited by our limits. So things must change. Amen. Things must change. And anything that God did not plant in your life that was not of him, he will root it up. Amen. According to Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. And God doesn't want you to keep reminding yourself of the former things, the things of old. Amen. Because God wants you to look and see he's going to do a new thing in your life, which is in the book of Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19. And once again, nothing is impossible with God. Hebrews 11, verse 6. And once again, just like Isaac, Isaac did the same thing what his father did. He lied about Rebecca not being his wife because he thought the man would kill him. So when we set those type of limits in our lives, amen, God has to intervene for us, amen. <laughs> and he would do that through dreams. He would do that through intercessory. He would do that any kind of way he want to do it, <laughs> you know. But the Bible gives us perfect in, uh, examples and illustrations how the men of God, men of faith, you know, who was listening and following God, but in the midst of listening and following God, they still was limited, amen, because of not having trust. So, you know, in the name of Jesus, we break the spirit of doubt off your life right now because God did not give you doubt amen doubt does not belong to God God gave you faith amen just like God said he did not give you a spirit of fear he gave you a spirit of power love and a sound mind and so those things that God gave us those spirits that God gave us we can use those spirits to work against the spirit of doubt because doubt will delay you doubt would limit you from moving forward in the promises of God amen so right now you don't want to be that person that is restricted you don't want to be that person who is suffering in the midst of plenty amen you don't want to be that person who's allowing your enemies to limit you from going forward that's limiting you from prospering and having to inherit the promises of double, double, double. Amen. What, what the enemy desires for you to be ashamed of, God will not allow you to be ashamed. Amen. God will turn that shame around. And in the midst of turning things around, it's God that's going to be glorified because people are going to say this can only happen because of the God that they serve. Amen. And that's the key thing. We have to remember that these promises are manifesting in our lives because of whom we serve, who we trust. We trust in him and we believe in him. Amen. And with that, we have faith. Amen. 
faith to overcome trials and tribulations. Amen. Faith to make our daily confessions. Amen. That God will deliver us from out of the hands of the enemy. Amen. That when we trust in him. Amen. And not having no reservation, no doubt about what he is doing. Things will begin to manifest. It will begin to manifest from the spirit realm into the natural because that's the type of God we serve. Amen. We serve a good God. We serve a good, good God, a God who has no limitations, but it is time for you and I to begin to identify what have we done here? What have we done here when it comes down to certain limitations in our lives? Praise God. So I just want to use, you know, I use those scriptures, a couple of the scriptures as example, you know, Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, um, Genesis 18 and 13 and 14 and Genesis 26 uh, verses 1 through 14, you know, understanding the power of understand the power of the word how God can teach us with his word not to allow that spirit to have dominion and reign over us amen and I found a little article um a little article that I was reading and it was and it was talking about you know man being limited man being restricted you know man limited man restricted man is suffering amen and man cannot go beyond cannot go beyond you know he's only going as far as the enemy will let you go and we cannot allow the enemy to have that type of authority over our lives the enemy has no right to say this is this is as far as you're going to go you're you're not going to go no further than this you stop right here so right now we put fire on the enemy's head the enemy that is saying right now you cannot go no further than this amen because you serve a god of You serve a God who loves to do the impossible. Why does God love to do the impossible? Because he has no limits. He has no boundaries. Amen. But the enemy will use the opposite of what God is not using in your life, which is limitation, boundaries, and he restraints. Amen. He wants to restrain you. So father over to you in the name of Jesus, whoever's listening, I pray now that the ropes of limitations, the chains of darkness will be broken off their life completely. I make that declaration for whoever's listening right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we just thank God. We just thank God right now that you will no longer suffer with limitations in your life. We just thank God that you will have joy. You will have success. We thank God that you will no longer have limitation, but we declare today that you will have accomplishment, that you will achieve all things through Christ Jesus. Amen. Yes, you will overcome. You will achieve with the daily confession of the word of God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God that there will be no more barriers over your life. Yay. We declare that right now. No no more barriers in your life. Amen. That you will do the same as Isaac. You will walk with greatness. You will walk in excellence. Amen. Excellence is so important. Amen. Because excellence is saying, hey, you got integrity and it's important to have integrity. Limitations come not because of integrity. Limitations come because of pride and you cannot allow the spirit of pride to limit you. So if there's any pride in your life right now, I ask you now in the name of Jesus to renounce it. Amen. Renounce the spirit of pride right now renounce it break it off your life repent in the name of Jesus Christ amen so right now in order for you to have excellence you must walk with integrity but if you have the spirit of pride upon your life you need to break it off right now break it off in the mighty name of Jesus amen amen praise God I just thank God for this teaching because this teaching really has helped me amen to understand the limits in my life amen and your limits can begin with your mindset the way you think it can affect the way you think oh I can't do this and I can't do that but yes I can do that I can do that but the word says I can do all things through Christ Jesus through who Christ Jesus amen Christ the anointed one and he's anointing it's the anointing that destroys the yokes and removes the burners why because the anointing must manifest for the yokes to be destroyed the anointing must manifest amen 
for the burdens to re- be removed. So this way you will not be limited in the body of Christ. That you will be able to move forward in the body of Christ. So that you, c- you can do the things that God has purpose for you. Amen. Because God has purpose many things for you and for me. He has given us promises. Amen. Promises that we can walk out in and live in. Amen. Praise God. Cause we are justified by faith. Amen. Not by works, but by faith. So you have to examine your faith. Amen. Begin to examine what God has for you and what you have done to limit yourself. Amen. Praise God. I just thank God for that. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you. So let's get into the prayer points. And one of the other scriptures I will recommend that you should begin to study and pray with is Psalms 141. This is a good uh, prayer point. Amen. So let me just use um, prayer point number four. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works. With men that work iniquity and let me not eat of their dainties. Amen. Incline not my heart to any wicked thing. See this, you, you, when you get back, you know, I don't know what version you're going to study, but this is the King James version. But the word is saying right here, don't let your heart be inclined to do things that is wicked. Don't practice wicked works. Amen. With men that work iniquity and don't eat their fruits. Don't eat what they eat. Don't practice what they do. Don't speak what they speak. Amen. Don't do these things because why? It is sin in the eyes of God and it also allows a spirit of limitations, that demonic spirit. Amen. And one of the things that I was saying earlier when I was praying before I had got on this radio show, I was saying, God, I break the spirit of limitation off my life. And anything that the spirit of limitation is attached to, I break it to in the name of Jesus. Because spirits comes with spirits. Amen. If you remember when the demonic spirit had came, he found, you know, he was thrown out, cast out. But he came back because he couldn't find nowhere else to go. And when he come back, he see the house was swept, garnished and cleaned. So he couldn't take possession of the house. So he went back and got seven more spirits stronger than him to take possession of the house. Amen. So what I'm saying is that this spirit of limitation was already in my life. It got cast out, but it came back with seven more spirits stronger. So that's why I say when I pray, God, break all spirits of attachment that came with the spirit called limitations. Amen. Because the the, the devil is mischievous. Amen. He is a liar. The truth is not in him. He is the father of lies. Amen. And he will come to deceive you. Amen. So that's why you must keep your ear open. And hear the word of God. So that you when the when God begins to speak to you. By his spirit, his Holy Spirit, you will know it's God speaking. Amen. Because the enemy is crafty. He is a deceiver. Amen. So you have to be mindful of what you do and who you do it with. Be ye not unequally yoked. And being unequally yoked covers every area in our lives, not just in relationships, but in business with our money, even the way we dress, the way we communicate. Amen. God wants us to be yoked up with him. That's why his anointing can work in our lives when we are yoked up with him. Amen. Praise God. So we're going to get to the prayer points. We're going to just trust God right now. And, um, Allow the word of God to take dominion and reign over you. Amen. Uh, There's nothing impossible for God. And for those who believe, amen, God will work for you. Amen. Read Hebrews 11 verse 6. God loves when we operate in his faith. You know, God loves that we love him. Amen. And we take pleasure in his good works that he has for us. 
Praise God. So we just thank him right now. Amen. We just thank God. Amen. We just thank him right now for his grace and his mercy upon our lives. For each person that is listening right now, I just give God the honor and the glory. I just thank God for his grace and his mercy upon your life right now in the name of Jesus. I thank God for his grace and his mercy upon our lives right now in the name of Jesus because he is our help. He is our deliverer in the name of Jesus. Yes, God is our help and he is our deliverer. Yes, God, we pray right now, believing and trusting in you. I pray believing and trusting in you, God, knowing that you would do that what is impossible for me to do. Yea, God, you're going to do that what is impossible for me. You are going to break the limitations of our lives right now, Father God, as we yield our members to you, God, finding favor with you, God, because you are awesome, God, and we trust in you, God. We have faith in you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you because the spirit of limitation is not the Lord. He is not my Lord. Amen. He is not Lord of my life. He is not Lord over my marriage. He is not Lord over my relationships. He is not Lord over my children. He He is not Lord over my ministry. Therefore, I refuse to be subject to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That's right. Begin to confess. Begin to confess that the spirit of limitation is not Lord over your marriage. He is not Lord over your ministry. He is not Lord over your finances. He is not Lord over over your children. Whatever area that is operating in your life that is hindering you right now, wherever you think there's limits right now, you need to renounce the spirit of limitation right now. Begin to renounce it right now. Refuse to subject to him in the mighty name of Jesus and make your declaration that you are totally free. Amen. Today, I declare my total freedom from the spirit of limitation. Today, I declare, I make my declaration be known that I am totally free from the spirit of limitation, from unwanted detention in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to make your declaration before the Lord. Let the Lord know that you are free. Let the enemy know you are free from his tactics that he can no longer detain you in the mighty name of Jesus ah praise God you strange forces holding me down I command you to release me now 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 now. You strange forces holding me down. I command you to release me now. Release me now. Release me now. That's right. Whoever you are, begin to push. Ask ask God to teach you how to pray violently. You know, we could say the kingdom of God suffer violence, but the violent take it by force. Amen. So we begin to pray right now. You strange forces holding me down. I command you to release me now from release me now from entering my destiny in the name of Jesus. Whatever strange forces there is right now, I declare that you are no longer holding me down. I declare that I shall enter into my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I break off my neck. I break off my neck from every invisible rope, every invisible rope. I break it off my neck now. I break it off right now. I break it off in the name of Jesus. Wherever Satan has me tied down, I break those ropes now. I break them now in the name of Jesus. I break off my neck from every Every invisible rope which Satan used to tie me down in the same spot. I break them off now. I break, 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 break them off now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every curse and barrier of limitation be removed. Amen. Be removed. Let every curse and barrier of limitation be removed. Wherever that barrier is, wherever that curse is right now, if it's over your finances, if it's in your marriage, or if it's hidden you from having children because there are many women are desiring to have children husband and wives desire to have a child but wherever there's a curse wherever there's limitation wherever the barrier is right now begin to declare be removed now be removed now in the mighty name of Jesus let every curse and barrier of limitation be removed as I move forward in this year in the name of Jesus amen so begin to speak that word let every curse and barrier 
barrier of limitation be removed. Be removed from my finances. Be removed from my marriage. Be removed off my children. Be removed in my family, on my father's side, on my mother's side. Be removed on my job. Because you may have a barrier. You may have a curse. There may be a limitation why you are not getting a promotion. So pray now that it be removed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be removed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, praise God. Right now, we just give God the praises. Amen. We just thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. We just thank God that this barrier is being removed right now. That limitation is being removed out of your marriage, off your husband, off your wife. Amen. Off your daughters and your sons. Amen. If you have a barrier right now where your ministry is not moving forward, begin to declare right now that curse that limitation that barrier be removed be removed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, God, we just give you the honor and the glory. We thank God for more fire, more fire, more fire, more of his consuming fire. Amen. He is the God of Elijah. He answers our prayers with fire. So we just thank God right now for the fire, for his consuming fire that is continually burning. Amen. Never goes out. His fire continues to burn in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, God, I violently overthrow you, you spirit of limitation. Get out of my life right now. I violently overthrow you, you spirit of limitation. Get out of my life now. Get out of my marriage now. Get out of my children now. Get out of my marriage now. Get out of my relationship now. Get out of my marital status. And some of you may be single. Some of you may not have a wife. Some of you may not have a husband. And there's a limitation there. We break that spirit of limitation right now off you right now we thank you God that whoever you have assigned to the man of God whoever you have assigned to the woman of God let their husband or their wife be located by fire in the mighty name of Jesus amen we finally overthrow you right now you spirit of limitation get out of their marriage get out of their finances get out of their ministries whatever area there is a limitation begin to speak that word amen Thank you, Father. I speak to the root and the foundation of limitation in my life. Be dissolved by the blood of Jesus. Be dissolved by the blood of Jesus right now. I speak to the root and the foundation of limitation in my life. Be dissolved. Be dissolved. Be dissolved by the blood of Jesus. Be dissolved. Be dissolved. Be dissolved by the blood of Jesus right now. That's right. Be dissolved right now. Every root right now. The root of the root and the foundation of limitation. Be dissolved by the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. I command every stronghold working against my advancement and my progress be pulled down and be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every stronghold working against my advancement and working against my progress to be pulled down. Pulled down. Be pulled down right now. Be pulled down in the mighty name of Jesus. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Begin to declare right now. Begin to declare and command that every stronghold that is working against your advancement in any area of your life, if it's your marriage, if it's your children, your education, if it's your ministry, your finances, if it's the gifts that God has already given you right now, just be commanded to be pulled down and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, God, we just give you the all. We just give you the praise, God. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, you ancient gates and everlasting doors that are shut against my life and progress in the name of Jesus. Lift up your heads, O you ancient gates and everlasting doors that are shut against my life and progress in the name of Jesus. That's right, because God is a God of breakthrough. He is a God of breakthrough. So begin to lift up your heads, begin to worship God, begin to give God the praise that he is moving right now. He is moving right now. He's going to begin to open those doors that were shut. He's going to remove the iron bars, the iron gates. He's going to remove them because he is the Lord of breakthrough, break, 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 breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey God, I command every spiritual barrier and limitation to each person who is listening right now. I command every spiritual barrier and limitation to their success in their life to break into pieces, break, 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 break into pieces. Now, now, now break into pieces. 
break into pieces now in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right. Begin to declare that every spiritual barrier, every spiritual barrier and limitation to your success in your life must break to pieces now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Begin to confess. Begin to agree with me. Amen. Begin to agree with me. Agree with the word of God. Amen. Begin to confess. Amen. The word of God works through our daily confession and it is activated with our faith. Amen. We must have faith. Amen. We must believe that God is going to work for us. Amen. God is going to work for us as we begin to confess his word in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, God, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We just thank God right now. We just thank God right now. Those spiritual barriers and those limitations right now are being notified with the blood of Jesus Christ. They can no longer have dominion and reign over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They can no longer have dominion and reign over you, over your marriage, over your children, over your businesses. Some of you guys going into business and the business is not prospering because you need to identify the limitations. You may have someone that you're in business with and they're not Living the life of righteousness, amen. Yay, they go to church, they fellowship, they do all of that, but they're not living in righteousness, and these things can hinder you, amen, from prospering. That's why it's important to know who you label with, amen. Praise God. I just pray that this word is helping someone, amen. I just pray that this word is bringing deliverance and salvation to you, amen. So, right now, Father, I nullify and destroy everything done against me, against whoever's listening, at any satanic altar that is bringing limitations to my life, to their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I nullify and destroy everything, everything done against me and whomever's listening at any satanic altar that is bringing limitations to my life or their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Begin to pray that. Amen. Begin to pray. I nullify. I nullify. I nullify with the blood of Jesus. I destroy with the blood of Jesus. Everything done against me. Everything done against my marriage. Again, everything that's done against my wife, my husband, my children, my sons and daughters. Whatever your situation is, begin to nullify anything that has done at a satanic altar. People do do build altars. People do have your picture, your name or whatever, your business, whatever on the altar. So you need to begin to nullify it with the blood of Jesus, destroy it with the blood of Jesus and break the spirit of limitations in your life or whomever's life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I revoke and turn into blessings every curse issued against my life that's right begin to revoke any curses that was spoken over your life whether you know it or not know it revoke it now and command them to turn into blessings blessings in your life bless your marriage bless your children bless your spouse bless whatever needs to be blessed begin to bless and begin to move forward in the name of Jesus just like what God did for Isaac God God still blessed Isaac even though Isaac lied about his situation God still blessed him amen so we just declare right now that you are blessed that the curses are revoked and the blessings are manifesting now manifest now in the mighty name of Jesus and father we demolish every wall Jericho that is preventing preventing whoever's listening to me from possessing their possession we command you to collapse right now in the name of Jesus father we demolish every wall of Jericho preventing whomever preventing me from possessing my possession in the mighty name of Jesus we command we command you to collapse right now in the name of Jesus father God I forcibly advance and break loose into my inheritance in the name of Jesus and you you have to really understand what that word means when you forcefully you got to go into spiritual warfare in order to advance in the kingdom of God in order for you to advance you got to break loose you got to run forth in the name of Jesus you got to (laughs) hey praise God you got to be like 
Elijah, you got to be running against that chariot. Amen. And watch the presence of God move over your situation. But right now, we just thank God right now from today. You will no longer be limited. All the limbs are taken off your life. Amen. That you will inherit the promises that God has for you. Despite the odds that were set against you, you they are no longer against you. Amen. Because God is for you. And when God is for you, who can be against you? Just like when the enemy was against Isaac. God still prospered him. God still made him great. God still allowed him to move forward. And he grew. Amen. He grew until his enemies decided they needed to come into covenant with him. Amen. So we just thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. And I will um, tell you right now that these prayer points came from a ministry called Geseme. Uh, G-E-T-H-S-E-M-A-N-E Prayer Ministry International All you got to do is Google them And you will see the prayers Amen Just like I did I, You know Whatever you want to pray about It's on the internet Examine the scriptures Examine the word Make sure it's in alignment so that God's promises can be fulfilled in your life. Amen. It's so important to examine the scriptures before you start praying any kind of prayer. Because prayer requires wisdom. And wisdom comes with understanding. Amen. So make sure you examine the scriptures before you pray any type of prayer point because you want to make sure the prayers are in alignment with the will of God. Amen. So I will put this up on my page so people can see where I got these prayer points and it's dealing with the spirit of limitation. So today in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, we pray. I pray for you. You pray for me in the mighty name of Jesus that we will no longer be limited and we will no longer give place to the enemy of limitations. Amen. Now we will not give place to the spirit of limitation. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King, prophetic utterance. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. God increase you. God multiply you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.